What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So we're gonna talk holsters today. We're gonna talk holsters today. Um, last night, Tuesday night, on my uh, live video, one person got a good question. You're like, would you rather have a leather holster or a Kydex holster? And I figured, you know, this is actually a pretty good topic to talk about because there's kind of pros and cons of each holster. So I wanna cover that real quick just to kind of help you choose which holster would work best for you. Now, <laughs> it, it, holsters are kind of like guns, like gun models. A lot of people will only do leather and a lot of people will only do Kydex and blah, blah, blah. And then there's people that do the hybrids that are in between. But uh, people get arguments over it too, which one's better, yeah, 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 this one lasts longer, this one's better. So I wanna kind of dumb down the noise a little bit or quiet down the noise a little bit to give you the pros and cons. Now one big thing that people keep saying with this whole argument is leather protects the finish, Kydex doesn't. That's BS, okay? Both of them wear out the finish of the firearm. Both of them seriously wear out the finish of the firearm. The only difference is from the box, Kydex will scratch up the finish, and after time, the leather will fade off and wear off and pull off the finish. So there's no perfect holster that's gonna protect the finish of your firearm. Eventually, you're either gonna have to get refinished or you just have to suck it up and accept the fact that the gun you're gonna be carrying is gonna be a little scuffed up and stuff like that. So both of them wear out the finish of the firearm. Kydex just does it a little bit quicker. Leather, however, does it over time. So we're gonna start with the Kydex. So Kydex holsters are awesome, okay? One awesome thing about Kydex holsters is they're very affordable. Now, if you look at the price compared to Kydex, compared to good quality good quality Kydex versus good quality leather, some people look at Kydex like, holy crap, that $80 holster is insane. Uh, yeah, that's a big price, but if you go to good quality leather holster, you're talking $300. There's a big difference in the price when it comes to the two holsters. Leather is a, a good quality leather is a hell of a lot more expensive than Kydex. Kydex, as from a holster maker standpoint, now I don't make holsters, is a little bit cheaper, cheaper to produce. Whereas leather, it takes more skilled hands and training in order to do it. Now, both of them, you need to know what you're doing. Just leather, there's a lot more steps. You have to get stitching and all that other stuff. Whereas Kydex, you can order the parts online. So those are two, two kind of things. I'll just say those cons to each one of them. So both of them are a little bit different. Leather's more expensive. Kydex is a little bit more cheaper. Now, another big, one thing that I love about Kydex is that Kydex you can shape to the firearm. You can shape perfectly to the firearm and you can actually develop retention in the holster itself, whether it's retention on the pistol, on the uh, trigger guard, which a lot of people like do the tension on the trigger guard. Some people like do using the uh, front of it for retention. So with Kydex, you can build in that retention to the point where you put the gun in and it pops and you know it's not gonna come out easily and you really gotta pull it just to make sure it comes out. So that is one big pro of Kydex. Leather, okay. Leather, you can't build in the retention. So the problem that they do with leather, oh, this isn't that a horrible problem, but the problem that the issue that people have with leather is they make the leather so tightly fitting to the firearm itself that there's a break in period just to get the leather to actually fit to the firearm. And there's no real retention minus the, you know, how tight it is compared, unless you put like snaps on it or something like that. Now that goes into play too is Leather is great because once it's in there, it molds to the gun and it feels very good, but the process of getting the leather to actually mold to the gun is where the finish really starts getting the most of the wear, is putting it in and out of that, that wear. And it's so tight and it's like sandpaper when it comes on and off. And it actually starts rubbing the finish off and then the finish starts fading. Whereas Kydex, it's pretty much the same every single time, but when you go in, it's gonna rub and scrape. So if you look at the different uh, wear marks between Kydex and then leather, Kydex wear marks are like straight lines and chips, whereas leather, the entire finish starts fading. And you can tell towards the, towards the front of the gun where it has the most resistance going in and out, that's where it starts wearing out the most. So both, you can't avoid that no matter which way you do. Now, both can be molded to the gun. Leather just has a break-in period. Now, when you buy a leather holster, if you want like a good quality leather holster, even a cheap one, one of the things that you gotta do from the get-go is wrap the gun in wax paper, put it in the holster, and leave it sitting in there for days, weeks, whatever it is, just to get it to mold it properly to the pistol. Whereas Kydex, when you get it, it is fully molded to the pistol, and there's no shaping, there's no nothing like that. So those are other things that we wanna talk about. Now, another thing you want to keep in mind is one, one of the things that I hear all the time is that Kydex is better for weather. Um, Kydex is better for rain and stuff like that. Leather is not. You know, 
I, it's hard to explain that one because leather is very water resistant. Now, yes, wet leather, after a while, it will get wet and it, it takes time to dry and your gun, if it's sitting in a wet leather holster, it will rust. But if you have a cover garment over it, for most part, it won't be the problem now. One pro of if you use a gun in the weather, whether it's raining, you're sweating, you're carrying it all the time, is it helps it mold to your body and helps mold it to the gun better. So leather will become a more comfortable holster over time, whereas Kydex pretty much stays the same the entire time. It might change a little bit, for the most part it stays the same. But when you're out there in the weather, your gun, if it's sitting in a leather holster and the leather gets soaked, the leather's gonna take a longer time to dry, so yes, you'll get more rust on it. That was one issue that I had when I used to, when I first started carrying it, it was all leather. One issue that I did have is over time, it would roll off the finish like sandpaper, and then the actual gun would start rusting more. Whereas Kydex, like I said, is yes, the water doesn't stay on it, but it still scratches up the finish and it still can cause rust if you're sweating in it and stuff like that. It just dries out quicker. So if you're in a rainy situation, you've been wearing a leather holster, you might want to pull the gun out of it, wipe it down, lube it up, oil it up, make sure it's done and let the holster dry. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to it. Now, a couple other things that you want to keep in mind when it comes to leather holsters. I talked about it a little bit before is the comfort level, right? Leather holsters get so comfortable over time. They just, be, they, they literally mold to your body. Um, leather holsters mold to your body, completely mold to your body. Whereas Kydex holsters, pretty much it stays the same and it's gonna be consistent every single time you put it on. Whereas leather, eventually over time, it'll start rounding to your body, it'll start rounding to the gun, and the gun will come in and out. So that is one big thing that I wanna keep in consideration. Now there's a couple, we're gonna call, these are the two negatives of both a leather and a Kydex holster. Leather holsters, over time of using it, you need to condition it, uh, like leather conditioners, like cowboy boots. You're wearing them, I love my cowboy boots. They, they keep your feet dry, they keep your feet warm, and they're great, they look good. But over time, the leather starts drying out. So you need to condition the leather. And if you don't condition the leather, what will happen to the holster is it'll start squeaking, all right? I'm joking, it's, I'm not joking, it'll start squeaking on your body. The, the moving of it will start squeaking the leather or squeaking on your belt. So you have to con you have to con you have to condition it occasionally, just like you would like leather boot or like the leather boots. You gotta condition it a little bit. So that is one downside to leather. Now, another downside to Kydex is the fact that Kydex comes with screws and stuff like that. And the same thing over time, even if you lock tight them, the screws get loose, all right? The screws get loose. So you'd be pulling out there and the entire holster could come apart when you're pulling it off a belt because they just come loose. It happens. If you're carrying it all the time, stuff happens. So you literally got to check it every now and then to make sure the screws are tight just to make sure everything's working, screws, bolt, whatever it is. You got to make sure all that stuff is tight. Whereas leather, like I said, will squeak and you can still have issues, whereas Kydex, you got to make sure everything's tight on it. Now, if you really want and you're not sure which way to go, <laughs> you'd always go with a hybrid holster. Hybrid holsters usually have like a Kydex shell. It's like an alien gear holster or a crossbeam holster. It usually has a Kydex type of shell and that has leather on the body. So you kind of get the best of, best of both worlds. However, because of it, you don't get as much retention from it. So that's one thing if you're really into re retention, then you might not want to go with a hybrid holster because it just the gun will just slide in and out. It doesn't lock in or anything like that. Unless you get like a fancy one that has all kinds of gads like uh, gadgets and gizmos. But the problem is when you have more technology and more stuff on it, the more stuff falls apart. Whereas leather, it's come stitch, it's no screws, doesn't come on there, it'll fit to the gun, and it's just a good way to go. I mean, you honestly, guys, you can't go either way. You know, I would love to be able to bring like a top dollar holster, you know, like leather holster just to do a review on it, but it's not something I can afford because they are expensive. So I, I have some great supporters, but I don't want to get enough supporters yet to actually be able to go out and get that cool stuff to do that. So. I would love to bring that to you. I, I, I just don't have one available at any time. I've been looking at leather holsters for a while, and if I want a good quality one, you're literally talking like $200, $300 to get an actually good quality handmade holster. So I can't do a back-to-back -back comparison right now, but eventually maybe one will come for you guys. But anyway, when it comes down to the holster choice, whichever one works best for you is the one that's going to work. If you like the Kydex, just be warned it's going to wear out your gun. All right, it's gonna scratch up your gun. Well, last while, yeah, but you gotta keep tightening it up. Leather will be more, will, will still wear out your gun regardless. They both will wear out your gun. It's just leather does it more and more over time, whereas Kydex pretty much is in the same exact spots very consistently. So keep that in mind. So there's no perfect holster. It comes down to which one that you would rather have on your body. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, if you found this helpful, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.